All right, and welcome to Alan Wake, episode two, Alan Wake. part one. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Alice? Fun, because this game actually plays out oh, kind of like a television show. Car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked Six by shadowy men straight show. from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at, but the cabin had disappeared. Episode 2, Taken. This is a festive cat, by the way, if you didn't know who's speaking. We are playing Let's Play Alan Wake. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. You're right. I should put some coffee on. I'm going to do the slow, dramatic walk. Oh, look. In video games, this is how you put coffee on. Coffee's on. Click. Great, thanks. <laughs> Whatever could she be talking about? I really want to go out in the snow. That'd be cool. That's a television in a box. Or that's what we're supposed to think. Oh, hey. I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think Special so last window night. inbound. <laughs> uh, those are big sunflowers. That's not a sexual window window. God, this bitch is obsessed with sunflowers. These look really good. Oh, sure, until... Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. By the way, she right freaks here. out if I'm there's no help. light. Please hurry. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine. I'm fine. The light's back on. Now, please. All right, you couldn't walk across the room and do this Honey, yourself. Honey, it's a power outage. Click. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's... Yeah, stupid, honey, let's break out the candles. Just, especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The click? Scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. They looked so happy three Maybe years ago. A liar. Thanks for this. No, in New York looks terrifying. The present day. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? <clears throat> Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for What tests. you don't know is that I Bright Falls also house. holds the record for the I'm oldest really doctor alive. Well, I don't think you have a concussion. He's age 172. What a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. 
Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. Yes, I think we are. Good thing you had time to come in from your fishing trip and leave your fish on the table. I'll let you get on with it then. Pretty cynical about this game, I apologize. She's very good at her job. I love it though. It's a really good game. Hmm, let's talk to you. Not you. You can pause that if you want to read that. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Oh, look. My phone. Thank you. Good thing you had the exact charger and make for my phone. My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Another Verizon me. ad. I need to Corporate this. sellout. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. I think I'm gonna tell the police. The cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. Excuse me, I just need to use your computer. I need some fresh air. Uh, can I go I out really in the, the back, maybe? Here. Of course, Mr. Wake. I understand. You can get there through the cells. Deputy Grant can show okay. you the way. I'm sorry. All of this, it's just a lot to take in. Mr. Wake, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Hey. Yeah, it's a uh, Woo! Copy there, man. Mr. Hey, can you turn the light the lights on? I'm just gonna leave you right there. Page out of the book. Manuscript page. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. They found my truck, thank God. Ready, jump! That was a karate kick, actually. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow, ow, thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Let's go exit the sheriff's station. I'll try to get a good way to show you guys. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, video. the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. All right. And that is where I'm going to leave off episode two, part one. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Fest Cat signing out.